not change. And I'll finish off with a tremendous hadith regarding to explain the state of Musa ibn Umair where he was. And we should reflect. It's not a fairy tale. This is something that has occurred. So we can talk about Islam. We can practice Islam because of these heroes. Abdul Rahman ibn Awf. Utiya bit ta'amin. Wa kana sa'iman. Abdul Rahman ibn Awf. He was presented food. And he was fasting. And look where his mindset was. Look how he reflected. He said, Qutila Musa ibn Umair wa huwa khair minni. Musa ibn Umair was martyred and he is better than me. Faqufina bi burda. That he was shrouded with a burda. A burda, a patched cloth. And he said, if we covered his head, you could see his feet. And if we covered his feet, you could see his head. He did not even have a shroud to cover him. Undur bidayatuhu ajiba wa nihayatuhu ajab. His beginning was something remarkable, and his ending was far greater. Nothing to cover him. And look how Abdul Rahman ibn Auf he thought. Wa kutila Hamza wa khairu minni. Hamza likewise was killed, and he was better than me. Then verily, Allah then opened the world for us and gave us the riches. And we fear that the good that we are doing, we are receiving here in this world. He feared that he would not be in the Akhirah. And he left the food and he was crying. This is how the Sahaba were. We should learn about them. The sacrifices which they did for Islam. To preserve Islam. And how we throw it away so easy. How we just neglect it so easy. And they gave their blood. They fought to bring Islam to us. Yet we are so neglectful of our deen today. And how weak we are. And then we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, why are we in this state? I finish with the statement of Ibn Mas'ud, radiyallahu ta'ala an, qal, man arad dunya adarra bil akhirah. He said, verily the one that intends this dunya, and wants this dunya, he will be harmed in the hereafter. Wa man arad al akhirah adarra bil dunya. And the one, that searches the hereafter, then you will be harmed in this life. Harm will reach you. And then he said, Ya qawm, fa'adarru bil fani lil baqi. So, O oh people, be harmed in that which will perish in order to receive that which is everlasting.